Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel today in Critical Legends. I thought it'd be fun to make a video on the universal cutters and everything that makes it better, so we're also going to cover how to obtain the wonder of you. I haven't made a video on this game in like 10 months and this just felt like a fun first guide back, even though it's been out for quite a long time. So the first step to getting the universal cutters is coming to the legit shop. Within the legit shop, if you go to the back and talk with the trader and go to his other items section, you will find the bizarre cell phone. The bizarre cell phone is the first step to getting the universal cutter, and you need 66,666 healthy apples as well as a bunch of golden RP, but the apples are the real struggle. The apples in question are literally just the apples that are in the trees around spawn and in the forest, and unfortunately there really isn't a very easy way to do this. One thing you can do is AFK overnight and just jump up and down to collect apples, but the best way to get apples in my opinion is just ask one of your friends for the bizarre cell phone. What's nice about this is you don't consume the cell phone when you make the class, you actually keep it forever. So you can just lend it to your friends so they can make the class for themselves and this makes obtaining it so much nicer. So let's get into the first step once you actually have the bizarre phone. And this is actually gonna be heading over to the Skypian Islands, which can be accessed from this brown boat in Punky Sky. So once you go to the Skypian Islands, you must make your way over to the Technoblade Memorial and behind the memorial on a ledge, you will find the Page of Brightness. Now you must also go to the void area, which the fastest way to go there is to go to the green boat in Punky Sky, follow the path I'm taking, and then you will find this chest and this gives the Page of Darkness. So once you collect both pages, first thing you're going to do is call the first person on your cell phone. Then it's going to have you go find a man in all black in the big open green field area. Take the green boat to get there the fastest way and you're going to find him, talk to him, and then you're going to get the Blade of Darkness. So you're gonna do this same thing, call the second person on the phone, and this is gonna have you go find a guy in all white within the punky sky area on top of a ledge. He's gonna give you the blade of brightness. So once you get both of these, you are gonna be able to make the universal cutters in the legit shop in the main spawn area. All you have to do is talk to the shopkeep yet again and then craft the class and then you unlock this awesome looking scissor class. So the reason why this class is so effective is because it will one shot literally anything in the game. Basically the way this class works is the second the time Timer that appears within a fight is over, the enemy will be defeated. Now, if they are weaker, the enemy tends to be defeated a little bit quicker. But the big downside of this class is sometimes it is faster just to use a normal class that spawns orbs rather than waiting for the long 90 second cooldown. However, that's where we're going to get into the wonder of you. But first, I'm going to talk about the heavy glyph plates, which comes from the black market. If you have the heavy glyph plates, this also reduces your cooldown on the universal cutters, and this simply comes from the black market so it really isn't that difficult to obtain and now let's get into the wonder of you so the wonder of you is a rather difficult item to obtain and basically what it does is it makes whatever items are after it within the passive slots doubled so if i have wind boots on it will give me two wind boots and then same with the two heavy glyph plates it is very very awesome let's go over how to actually obtain it so first you're going to need 15 blood seekers if you don't know where the blood seekers spawn they spawn in this cave area up here you must interact with the man covered in crystals he is going to take you to the area with the four colored bosses and all you got to do is kill the red boss over and over and over again until you get 15 blood seekers it really isn't too bad because it is a 10 percent drop rate so the other very painful thing you have to do is get 250 shattered hearts if you don't know how to get to the white heart you must come to the normal heart which is in this cave here in the waterfall you must talk to this person over here talk to veronica she's gonna have you do a quest where you get a hundred of the heart shattered things from this heart once you get 100 of those you can talk to her and she will let you fight the true white heart and the white heart is a little bit annoying because it has so much health this dude has literally 10 million hp so universal cutters is a good afk farm with it since simply it will one shot anything after the timer is over you can pretty much do whatever you want to kill this guy but it will take a very long time and make sure you never rebirth when farming the shattered hearts reason being is because if you rebirth all of your progress is going to go away and you might lose all of them Anyways, you're also going to need some gold and stuff and RP, but once all of that is finished, you have 15 Bloodseekers, 250 Shattered Hearts, and also you need at least 25 Eternal Stacks, I forgot to mention that, which means you have to rebirth 25 times, but you've probably done that by now if you're trying to make this item. Anyways, once you've done all of those things, you come and hug this plush in the corner of the legit shop, and that is going to get you the wonder of you. 
So the best setup with the cutters is going to be Wonder of You with wind boots and then also heavy glyph plates in my opinion. So this way you can actually still have decent mobility while getting the shortest time possible. And if you're level 400 while using this setup, you will have a 45 second timer, which is very, very effective for raids. It's like the best way to farm raids because you just kill them very, very quickly. And you can just like tab out and watch YouTube while doing it. That is my guide on how to get the universal cutters. Same with the wonder of you. Leave a like if this video helped you out. Subscribe for more and let me know what other videos you guys want me to make in Critical Legends because there's so many things I haven't covered because there's so many new things to do. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.